I'm an introvert, which means I like to be alone sometimes, but not always. Most of the time I just like to be alone among other people, at a coffee shop or on a bench in a park. I like to hear friends chatter and co-workers complain and strangers try to impress each other like male birds in those nature videos. I like eavesdropping. I like the option of joining in, though I seldom do. But that's off the table. Most everything is off the table. I'm writing this for my kids, that they might read this someday and find some understanding as to why their mother and I did so much swearing. We're so short-fused. And if you're in this with me, I hope it brings you some comfort. My wife and I drove across the country once, along Interstate 70, with a detour to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. It's a long, unspectacular detour through southern Utah to arrive at the park and pay our toll and walk to the ledge of what I thought was going to be a very lovely cliff. But if you've never seen the Grand Canyon in person, let me be the very 50th to say you should. I saw it a few weeks ago on a TV at Costco in Ultra HD with lots of other very impressive abbreviations. But even that didn't come close. Let me also be the 50th to say it changes you. That yawning chasm. I remember stepping out toward its ledge thinking, I am living a lie which sounds cliche, but felt in the moment, untethering. What is this? This immense river, flossing a continent down to the gums. Gets you thinking you're maybe not so significant after all. Maybe more like a small container of thoughts. Most of them about you and those you love, or maybe just those you see most often, which is also about you when it comes down to it. And maybe these thoughts aren't as monumental as you've come to know them. That one about how your friend has some new concept every time you see him and has never followed one through to its creation. How he's let his fear get the best of him. Maybe that one's about you too. And maybe... It's time to bore down deeper, find something inalienable, something right. Anyway, that's what that big Arizona butt crack did for me. They closed that park, all the parks, even the tiny ones, the playgrounds, the basketball courts, drinking fountains, all of it just roped off like a crime scene. Nothing to see here, folks. vistas here, these four corners of our every room, no campground lit by kindling from which to gaze up from, mouth agape, through the trees to the stars above, but there are offerings here too, if we can only adjust our field of vision to these constellations of lint and unfolded clothes on the bed these artifacts of the unspectacular. This is the good and strange work of everyday grace. To fix our eyes on the familiar, unassuming horizon and bring her depths to light.